Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. Greetings, fellow Portal Masters. I'm Crash Rousel, and it's once again time to crash the scouts with the official office tour of the new Crash the Skylands office. So I mentioned a while ago that I moved into a new spot and luckily there was an extra room, so of course I took it over and turned it into the official Crash the Skylands office. And I can say it's 95% complete. There's two things missing which I'll explain in the video itself and there's another thing you're gonna be really confused about. But this is the official tour of the office. So I'm really excited to show you guys this. So let's not waste any time and get right into it. So first up, like always, is the recording session itself. I have my computer and my TV along with the PlayStation. Normally the PlayStation used to sit right here in the front, but I actually put it on top of my little uh, see-through stand here. We got that leftover Giants box when I did that unboxing. I had not thrown that out yet. Oops, you lying my garbage. <laughs> Don't look at that. So I got my PlayStation here because I do record all my content on the PS3 because I have the actual HD PDR Rocket that records with it. Head rush is there because I still need to level her up for the trap lock. <laughs> I'm really behind. So this is my thing. I got my camera set up there, so the camera I'm holding in my hands. But my computer here. I just bought a giant mouse pad. Look how big that is. That's massive. Look at my phone. Wow. On the walls, I don't have a lot of decoration on the wall. Um, I'm thinking I'm probably gonna get something to put here, but I'm not sure. Maybe I'll get a Skyliner poster or something. But anyways, we got the uh, the bats of Night Shift and Roller Brawl, that, hello, it's me, you see me, that uh, Rain, Rainstorm Riddles drew a while ago, got my favorite TV show of How to Mother, got the exclamation mark thing, and a Pokemon poster there. I got this stuff behind me because it's not really part of the set. I wouldn't, like, no offense to this, Rainstorm, if you're watching. Um, but yeah, so this is like my more personal stuff, so that's why I have that here. Now over here is where I'm gonna be adding something else. It's gonna be another shelf. So right now I have the Skylanders that are still available for the Ancient Half Hour in here, along with the Trap Masters ready for the Trap Master lock. They're ready. Um, I'm gonna put another shelf right here and I'm actually gonna fill this up with my plushies. So if you guys noticed in some of my videos, I have some Pokemon plushies, some Skylander plushies, and odds and ends. This is where I'm gonna put all those too. So there's gonna be another shell gun here. It's currently on its way. Hopefully out here very soon. We got my closet where I got my work clothes and you know some odds and ends, along with a bunch of consoles and everything, the mystery box of mystery. I will be bringing back the um, Complete Your Collection series. It's just it's taking a little bit just because I gotta make sure that legally I can do it because of the new Copa rules. Woohoo! So that'll be getting worked on. We got two full boxes along with some more goodies. Look at that. Whoa. Interesting. And down here are all my extras. Uh, as you can see, this is the Sky. These are my Skylers. These are all variants and doubles and series two, threes, and all that stuff along with that. Uh, we got all the games, it's the ones I record with, all my accessories, a couple odds and ends on here. And this is a pack I'll be opening up really soon in the future. Hoo -hoo. So you've seen this guy in the back of the videos a nice few times, I'm assuming. Especially for the half hour once I'm setting it up. It's the Pink Panther. <laughs> so this is my girlfriend. Um, she's had this for a while, and we didn't really know what to do with it, but her aunt suggested just sitting him on a chair in the back of the videos, so... There he is. <laughs> I have an extra chair, so he's just sitting there. I got a Skyliner now, so it's basically official. Right here in his lap is going to be a special thing getting added in the future once it drops down in price. Um, basically, I have it reserved. It's going to be wearing that hat and those sunglasses. I'm not going to reveal what it is. I'll be doing that in a future video, maybe. But uh, yeah, this is Pink Panther. He's going to be sitting in the background of all the videos. He's basically my co my coworker now, so it's kind of exciting. I finally have a coworker, guys. It's not just Jack. Actually, I don't know. I put some eyes on him. He probably looks just like Jab. He's got a big long nose just like him. Ooh, wow. Well, random insults on Jab. It's not a Crash Scouts video, but don't insult Jab. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you, I focus on my dirty floor, the piece to the distance. The new setup, and if it isn't obvious, the Skylanders are now out and about. So what we'll do is we'll start at the top and work my way around. So over here we have another beautiful portrait from Rainstorm Riddles along with the little elements that she made with the plastic. So we have all those, the dark ones up there. It's uh, it's Nightfall. And you know I'm not a huge fan of that. <laughs> I'm not a huge fan of Nightfall, I'm a huge fan of this picture, I swear. <laughs> uh, right here we have Detective Pikachu, I got this Amiibo a while ago and I felt like this is probably a good spot for it because it kind of sprinkles in a little bit of Pokemon because you know I like Pokemon. And I mean, it's huge. I mean, this is, this is my fist beside it. I got a big fist. <laughs> uh, we got some posters on the wall. This is the original Spyro's Adventure poster. This is the one from that, um, the Game Boy, not the Game Boy, 
Game Boy, wow. Nintendo 3DS one, I've actually, as I said, I've already technically opened that one to take this poster out. Uh, we have the Giants one that just happened in that unboxing I just did. And the Supercharged one, this is from the Dark one, the unboxing that I did. I decided to put it that way. I had another poster in mind, but I guess I must have thrown it out or I gave it away and I forgot. So we're gonna use this one now. I might look into getting the one I was looking at because I think that'd be really cool. But again, this is the piece de resistance. So I ordered shelves online. And as you can see, they're a little bit different. <laughs> they're not the extra shelves that I thought they were going to be, but they actually turned out really well, and they're awesome for holding Skylanders. So um, what I'm doing is I'm having the sets of Skylanders on them. Right now, this is a placeholder. These are all the vehicles of the Skylanders that are still available in uh, on Half Hour. So they're still there. So once they get put into the game, I'm going to be removing those. But this shelf right here is going to be my swappers. This one's going to be the Swap Force Cores. This one's going to be all the Giants. All the Giants are going to fit there along with the regular cores. And up here is going to be Spiral's Adventure. Hopefully that will hold all 32 of them. And on this side from the bottom up, we have my rarer Skylanders that are still in the box. Right in the back, you got Patina High Volt and uh, the Soda Stream, the Nitro one. I'm hopefully going to get something a little bit taller to boost them up a little bit more so you can see them a lot better. But also in the front, you got the Spotlight and King Cobra Dabber. Thank you, Brylander. Along with my still unbox, Natalie Barkley, and my Love Potion Fizz or, uh, Pop Fizz. All from Trap Team, I just realized that. So, Supercharged Trap Team stuff. Then we go up, I'm going to have these next two shelves for Imaginaries. This one's going to be all the villains. Um, and this one, I was hoping to be all of the Imaginators. Like the newest ones, like the Senseis. But I don't think they're all going to fit. So, <laughs> we'll have to figure out something, I guess. Uh, may have to put some over there. Maybe I'll put the villains over there and put all the Senseis over here. Or maybe, oh no, actually, I'll probably move this over there and then do all the villains on the bottom then senseis and senseis let me know in the comments and then if you go up i'm split my trap team collection up there's some going to be on the top with the cores and some on the bottom with the cores so i'm thinking this whole row is going to be enough for one core same with that um because we've already got basically all the cores done for trap team which is insane uh <laughs> along in the back i'm gonna have the trap masters which you know they're kind of busy right now so yeah that's going to be the two shelves with my skylars on it they're saying crash you missed one i didn't Supercharger is going to be right here in the front, baby girl. You know how much I love Sky the Superchargers. So it's going to be here along with the Skylander uh, Portal Master's Guide to Skylands book I have. So all my uh, Superchargers are going to go right here. And if you look on the front, you'll notice that this has got a little bit of my flair here. Got my little board. This is the one I put in the back of the top five. So it always has something written there. The top five. You got my Spyro Pop Vinyls here with Spyro and Sparks, Ripto and Nasty Nork. You got my little turtle. The reason he's in this part along with this, which I'll explain that in a minute. Um, this was one of the first things I ever bought when I moved into the city. And it's traveled with me ever since. So this turtle has to be in every video because of that. Um, here in the front, you have the three Skylanders that probably mean with some of the most to me. Dark Wildfire, everybody knows that story. Snicker Shot was the custom that I, I won through the Skylanders thing. And this is a custom made by the Skylander dude, Ryan himself, of a wildfire um, being ridden on by... Uh, Dragon Ball, which is really cool. This is another couple things made from Rainstorm Riddles. This is Funny Bone, made with clay. She made a little tank that says Bash and Crash. And I, or sorry, Seesaw from the original Imaginator Lock that I did. So yeah, we have that. Along with this, this is, this is an urn, obviously. <laughs> um, I had a cat back when, when I lived back home. His name was Simon. And he unfortunately passed away, so my parents got him cremated and gave him to me, and I thought this is a good way to remember him, is to put him in the actual set, so you guys can see that all the time. And of course, my boys in the front, you got all the bashes, along with that Mega Blocks one. Mike, hold on, you are dusty. Wow, okay, I need to, I really need to clean you. But yeah, there's my boys. So, this bash is the OG bash, that's the one that I played that infinity amount of hours with <laughs> in that video that time. So yeah, that's a really cool one. So we'll get to the shelves. So these shelves here, um, two of them are still a work in progress, but it's only tiny little things left. Uh, we'll go to this shelf first. So this is the Skyliner shelf, as you can see, along with, you know, Dart from Stranger Things, obviously. We got my Bash headphones. I got them at that video with I did make fun of Jap. <laughs> wow, which video was that, right? <laughs> I also got my Magna Charge Lego, or Mega Blocks, and my Washbuckler Mega Blocks along with the Archean chapter that I did. Those videos went over pretty well. And also got the Burger King figurines here because those are the ones, unfortunately, we couldn't get them here in Newfoundland. So a awesome viewer of mine, Sophisticated Kitty, sent them to me as a birthday gift. So thank you so much for that. 
Along with the back, I have my current elites. Uh, that might change if I ever get more elites. I probably won't though. I'm actually not looking into the elites. But I mean, you, you guys can send them to me if you want. Anyways, uh, <laughs> so these are the four from the main elite series. Aligned down with here, I have the other four of the extra ones I have to happen to get. So yeah, this is my mini Skyliner shelf right here. I almost fell over, gonna be completely honest with you there. Go down to the next one. This is my, um, I guess, Elements of Me series. So we got the uh, swap, the Elite Symmetry back there, but I'm also a big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, if you guys didn't know this. I had this Yu-Gi-Oh lunchbox, I got a Dollarama for $4, along with Seto Kaiba and uh, the Blue Eyes White Dragon from Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm actually gonna be moving them slightly over a bit because I'm getting the six inch Exodia figurine for Pop Bun, I'm getting that one too. So that's gonna be where they are behind it. That's my deck from when I used to play Yu-Gi-Oh. My Sayaru deck, if you look on the top, there's Sayaru herself. I used to kick so much butt with that. And then of course, my crash, my crash stuff. <laughs> I have a lot of their pop models. You can see I have Tiny, Fake Crash, Aku Aku. This is the flocked Crash Bandicoot, the GameStop exclusive EV Games. And Nitro's Oxide, along with that CTR. This is the bobblehead that came, or the Hula Crash that came with the CTR pre-order. So I have that along with the Crash Pez Dispenser. I'm still looking to get Cortex and Coco. They'll be happening in a while though, so I don't gotta worry about that right now. So this is my little shelf, so again, they're gonna be moved over here and Exodia's gonna be there, so that'll be added in the future. Then my next shelf, this is, a, I guess I call my odds and ends shelf. Um, in the back, you can see I have some Amiibos, I have the Silver Super Mario, I have Wario number one. I have the Crash Tataku, and I also got a Chibi Robo. This one came with the game, it cost me $5, so that was one of the main reasons I bought it. Um, I know a lot of people don't like the Zip Flash game, but I actually thought it was really good, so I don't care what you think. Uh, this is this Bulbasaur. Um, it has to be plugged in to work, unfortunately. That's what I don't like about it. Or I think it has to be plugged in and charged for it to work. But what it does is it glows. So it's like an LED light and you can change the colors and stuff. It's really cool. The girlfriend guy might get me that for Christmas. I think it looks really well. So I'm on my Bulbasaur Pez dispenser, which I think there's candy in here. Hold on. Is there candy in here? Oh, there is candy in here. I have to grab that one later. But yeah, oh. So I got my Bulbasaur there because I'm a big Bulbasaur fan. These are little action figures. These are like these little spinny fight game things that we got for Christmas from her parents. Uh, we got Mudkip, Pikachu, and Torchic, so I thought they'd look really good there. Along with here, my parents are, um, well, actually this one and this one. They went to the Dominican Republic and they bought me these as uh, like gifts. So there's a turtle <laughs> and there's a car. Get it? Oh no, you don't get it actually because you don't know my real name. And this here is one of the, one of the first things I bought in the city. It's uh, a wooden sculpture. And it just looks like the rock on side, but this actually it means love. Oh, <laughs> But yeah, that's that mini shelf there. And last but not least, I have my Pokemon still in the box. Pop finals I'm collecting. As you can see, there's a little spot on the right and the left. I'm actually going to be shifting all of them over to the left and putting Rattata in there. I have Rattata pre-ordered. I'm going to keep it in the box. And I'm going to have those six Pop finals. I'm not planning on adding any more. Um, I know there's a lot more being added, but I'm just not interested in them. I don't really want them that much. As soon as I Rattata, I need it because, you know, rats. That's me. I like, I like rats. So, yeah. So, that's that shelf there. So, that'll be a little added, too. So, a few things still got to be added to the set. But I'm going to stand up here now and get you guys a full view of the thing again. But, yeah. That's the set right there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that does it for the office tour. I hope you were excited for that. I'm really excited to film a lot of videos here in the future in this one. Um, it's just it's just exciting for me in the end, just to have this full office to myself and be able to film my videos and stuff in that. It's really cool. So hopefully excited for the new updated version of Crash the Skylands of 2020. It's my five year anniversary coming up really soon. So that's what I'm excited about. I think it's two weeks from now by the time I upload this video. So it's exciting, five years doing Crash the Skylines on YouTube and my beard keeps growing. I'm not shaving it, I don't care what any of you say. But if you guys know, let me know, leave a like and a comment below. Um, just let me know what your favorite part of the office is. Are you excited to have the Skylines back on the shelf and they're not in the tubs anymore? Oh boy, they're black. <laughs> or like the little odds and ends or something like that. Are you excited to see Pink Panther? Because he's excited to see you. Right? Ooh. <laughs> something wrong with me. But as always, I bid you farewell.